this tutorial about exporting a SOLIDWORKS file to Cinema 4D. You see here I made a cup which we're gonna use in Cinema 4D to make a good render, a proper render. Studio great. But first we're gonna save. We're gonna choose save as. We don't save it as a part or anything. We save it as a VRML. Then we go to options and we make sure it is VRML 97 1.0 doesn't get it good, it's not good quality, it's not usable we see unit millimeters, we can leave that and we're going to save all components of the assembly into a sync file you can use this if it is a part or as assembly when you made an assembly you can use this one and it will pop up in SOLIDWORKS uh, as, sorry, Cinema 4D as one big unit with all the the stuff is loose, yeah. So it doesn't take uh, mates with it. Um, yes. So if you open it in Cinema 4D and you drag components around, it will not. It it's you have a hard time with re relocating it, so it's usable again. So don't do that. Make a null uh, as first thing you do in Cinema 4D, which I will show you later in the tutorial. Let's click on OK. Give it a name. I'm gonna and I'm desktop and save it will create a file so now we have opened cinema 4d i use r15 studio edition going to open and we're going to desktop you can see here somewhere here there is yes here so we are it's we are l as you can see it doesn't have a preview gonna click OK and it will load for a while you're gonna scale it so scale it big enough so you can so when you have and you zoom in you don't have problems but this it disappearing it, it size doesn't matter here if you're gonna make a still picture so click on I didn't use most of the time I use 5 and keep it in millimeters and click on OK as you can see here now it's popped up as a polygon and you can see there are it's the wireframe by clicking on this button now I will show you how to, if this was assembly how you can make it to um, so it doesn't float around the, the all the stuff when you click when you make it a rigid and you have gravity and you click on play it just falls apart but we gonna make a null by simply you can choose all the polygons of your assembly and drag it into the null and now when you have the null it will move around with everything with it and you can name it by double clicking so here you have it How and now you can save it as all kinds of the Cinema 4D extensions. So I will. I hope you've learned enough about with this tutorial how to export the SOLIDWORKS file to Cinema 4D. I hope to see you the next time. And if you have tips for me, now I would like to see them in the YouTube description section, the YouTube comment section. Okay. See you next time.